Hey up, everyone. Right, I'm doing this. Right, yes, forget. Oh, I'm sorry about the last um, thing. It was all over the place, wasn't it? Because I'd just woken up and my head was just spinning with everything that was going on in it. Now, I think it's because I'm doing... Uh, yeah, I think this it could be that this one was a little bit untidy. It was because I was double place uh, multi-placing so I think I sh let's just try doing single placing for this one I know it takes a little bit longer but it does mean that the placing is all equal as such bit boring for you to watch but well yes so I've got those forms to fill in from my bank business bank uh, god but well actually that's one thing you did help me with last time I am so flipping warm inside I feel like I'm 100 plus degrees my face is burning it's horrible and this is what the heat does and the sun does to me. It sets off my fibro flare. And so I feel absolutely wiped out. That's probably why I slept till I don't know how long this morning. And I wanted to go out and see a friend today, but um, I don't think I'm gonna get the chance. So I will just, oh God, I have, when it's like this, I have to go upstairs to my bedroom and I have to, actually I could take this upstairs because all I need is, I've got the angle arm up there. I have to shunt over Wei Ying and Lan Zhan. I could do this up there because I have an angle arm, I have a desk, it's right in front of the window and but I'd have my AC on and so uh, that's going to be even noisier than this fan. Mind you this fan, all this fan is doing is kicking out hot air. I have to um, clean it again because I found that when I clean the spinny things, the fan blades, then it um, goes cool again when it gets built up of dust or whatever. Realistically, I shouldn't be diamond painting. I should be um, doing the things I need to do, like hoovering. But to be honest, I'm struggling with my hand, my wrist, and my muscles. So um, that's probably not... Let's see what I'm doing. It's probably not a um, a very good thing to do because it's you know my arm and hand is in pain doing this, pushing down on this. But I do it because I like because I want a diamond paint. But the problem is then you suffer at the other end. I would sooner do this than, um, you know, the hoover's heavier. And then I've also got to go up the stairs and, you know, I've got one of those cordless handheld ones to go up for the stairs and upstairs. But no, it's, it's just as cumbersome. And it doesn't work as well as my Dyson. So, um... I might end up taking that one up to my office to have there. <clears throat> but to do that, I'm going to need to bring the um, trolley down from the office to take that up and a few other things. I've got some more fabric I found. That's got to go up to the office. Um, oh, some more finished diamond paintings and uh, empty boxes go up to the office. Um... Yeah. You know, in so many ways, if I didn't have a business, 
my office would be. It's just a storage room. do not like you know we're in England for God's sakes England isn't supposed to have sunny weather it's not supposed to get hot this is crazy it's not supposed to do any of these things not fair because our winters are no longer winters such winters that I remember when growing up where we had snow and big snow drifts and nothing moved and chillblains were a thing and ice on the inside of windows you know things at one point we didn't miss but now I kind of like miss them in a nostalgic kind of way right so that's that one down oh. oh, there we go the long press. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you see, when I do it single placing, there's not many gaps. And it's also daytime. Oh, well. Single placing it is then. Taking me a lot longer. This is very boring for you to see. But actually, I think I, I need to do a chart. I need to do some actual work on um, some things. I need to go to Canva, get that sorted. Because I've got a whole box load of them. Um, you see, I've got two lots of drawers like this. And they are 40 in each one. And I thought, right, these could be my spares. But 40 in each one is... Um, is not many and then I thought oh look I can fit four in each drawer so then I could shove those stickers across here but I really wanted them to go there only of the ones that I have, you know, until, and then I build up on each more, each different colour that I get, which is from, um, you know, which is necessary for, um, you know, for what I have. But you see, I already have a little tray, which is 30 things, and that's these, and they're slightly bigger. But you see, that is 747s, and I quite like, these are ever moments yeah so I'd like to move them sort of into here if they will all fit god they only just don't they but you see there we have 747s yeah but they aren't going to go back in here very easily are they So I want to get them out of there. Or actually, I could keep those. And then I could use those for the ones which are... Um... So I've got that. And I've also got another one upstairs, which has got one massive tray at the bottom. Which I could put the overflow of the ones that won't fit to say in, in all these big drawers. But you see, some of them I only have... Um, little amounts but they see they could go in these ones and I've got about five of these so the ones with the little amounts can go in these so these are three 
so how many does that mean that means where's that pen gone here we go we're sidetracking again folks they all seem to do right so we have right two times 40 equals 80 we have one times 30 equals obviously 30 then we have one upstairs which is one times 60 or is it 66 we'll say it's 60 equals 60 then we have five times nine equals 40 is it 45 yeah 45 so we have 80 90 80, 90, oh God, 90. 1880 is 160. And 10, 170. 170 plus 45 is 215. Well, I've probably got less than that in um, ever moments at the present. So actually, it could work. So I need to get those other little drawers back from the office. Oh, well, I won't. I'll leave them there for now until I need them. Yes, because these ones will fit the, say, one packet. Because I quite like those ones. Yeah. Across the space. Just because I am obsessed with order of that respect i can order that i can do that i can sort all that out no shit sherlock no problems but when it comes to organizing my house it becomes a different kettle of fish but you see i have to sort out i'm just going to do this tile and then i will sort out um I have to go online and do the canvas thing and try and work it out from there. And so that means getting my um, my um, laptop out. Oh, the mouse was found. I don't know who found it, but somebody found it in this house because there it was. It was on the side here. And, it, you know, I shouldn't have been able to miss it, should we say. I mean, there are a few. Oh, it's taking too long doing it this way. And my head is now wanting to do that, sort out those things in Canva. But this is the thing. My, I topped it up the other day. And it's, it's doing some, but not doing all of them. see it's like uh, uneven spreading of the um of the ujima flips you all know what that is see like that uh, now these ones i can turn upside down because i have written on them and they're all the same So that's okay. Oh God, this is becoming like Tetris. Is it Tetris? I'm placing them down as, as to what the flipping. <sighs> you know, at least these haven't got like you know, these are resin. Why couldn't the one with the diamond art get them from... I'm now getting a bit concerned about the, the paintings that I've ordered from the one with the diamond art. Because if they are the same sort of drills, which I assume they will be, they are... A lot of them were just rounded concave bottoms, which wouldn't sit. And then they kept popping off. And it frustrates me when that happens. And um, and if my three new ones from the one with the diamond art are similar, then I'm going to cry because those are my pictures of my Desi lookalike. And I don't want that.
Oh, let's see how, how fluffy these things were. Because I hate it when bath towels go all that hard, rigid. bath sheets now it had quite a bit of thin people but they had three very thin people obviously and they were um and they had it wrapped around them three times so yeah. so i'm going to try mine tonight Ready to go across. Right, so now back with this, now sidetracked. Um, oh dear. That it is, it's like bloody Tetris. See, look at that. Clicks on and misses that one at the top. Now we've got two missing so where can we stick those two we'll have those two up there shall we Thursday and was somebody doing a load of lavender bunches so I had one and um, and it was that lovely sort of um, that one now it's drying quite a lot now and then it's just going to crumble this one but this is one out of it that I kept for myself and I'm going to cut it down and I'm going to dry it and I'm going to put it I might laminate it actually with a picture of Desi because the rest I put by her grave. Oh God, yesterday was quite hard actually because I had the window open and that's where she would usually lie on the window while it was open, you know, having a snooze with the breeze. And I just kept looking up expecting to see her there. She wasn't. Oh, and then last night, getting into bed and you know there was none of that fighting for the bed covers or part of the bed because she basically plonked herself sat in the middle you know and um and I had to fit around her for a sleepless night and that was another thing I missed you know when I was in bed watching a bit of YouTube she would walk up in between me and the and the the iPad so I couldn't see the iPad I just had to give her loves and attentions and I miss that so much I miss and without her being my alarm clock as well of a morning that's probably why I slept in longer because when she was here I couldn't not get up you know I could get up and then I'd be awake and then I could go back yes but then I'll be awake because I'd have to feed her and let her out. Yeah. 
yeah. I filled in a um a thingy jig yesterday. I found a um a changes.org petition which was about you know UK allowing the um the acceptance of emotional support pets. Now what I mainly wanted that for was for housing, you know, because too many landlords say no, we don't accept pets. And you know, and it's like, but the importance of pets is very narrow sighted. Yes, I don't want to get a whole bloody menagerie. I just want one pussy cat, you know, when I'm a bit better, obviously. And um, because you know, Desi was my confidant, Desi helped me through a lot of um, a lot of my you know, breakdowns and rough times and she was always there for me and she was supportive and and it was just lovely to you know I had to care for her and I cared for her you know so whereas when you get down and whatever and if you haven't got that well then you're more likely just to not care for anything and think below it you know and stuff so um you know I want to get the law changed where emotional support animals are more accepted you know america have them various other countries have them why don't we you know and yes some landlords i mean there are some landlords out there who begrudgingly accept them but then they ask for a bond for the pet and that's fine i can do that till the cows come home meant I could have a pet i.e. one cat because I mean you know people should only have I think one emotional support animal I mean, you can't hoard the pets and say that that is your emotional support because it isn't but you know for the older generation who don't own their own houses you know I think it's disgraceful because they know how much benefit people get from animals and pets. It's a bit like, you know, old people, they brighten up when they see children, you know. Children go into old people's homes, you know. It's amazing how quickly the staff have say, you know, yes, they pick up loads, you know, because they miss out on that interaction. And, you know, and pets as well, because homes don't accept pets because, well, they say we're already looking after after the old deer, you know. We shouldn't have to look after the pet as well, which, you know. And they say England, UK, is a home of animal lovers. Well, yeah, we are animal lovers if we're allowed to bloody do so. Which is, I just find it incredible, you know, that they say this about us. And yet, you know, we have far more restrictions on us about pets. So, you know, I mean, there have been cases where people have taken um, landlords to court for, you know, not allowing their rights of, to have a pet. But then, you know, you don't really want to go that far, do you? But then would, would the other people go that far? I think they really do need to be addressed that, especially in places like this. And I think, yeah, there is wear and tear and everything else, but that's why you ask for a bond. If you have a pet, you get another bond. You know, you get a house bond, usually. I mean, I didn't hear because this is like um, a charity run thing. Now, would they be under the same, you know, thing as other places? There we go. Well, I've still got quite a bit of um, gap in. Maybe I just haven't noticed it before. Actually, that's got less gap in. <laughs> okay, right, so there we go. So yes, anyway, this um, 
whatnot i've got to i filled it in and i've been sending it around to various people to um to um whatnify to um fill in there we go have i done it one two yep so for people to fill in uh, and hopefully, you know, I think we only need about 15,000 more only. 15,000 more signatures plus to um, to get it heard and sort of put before. Hmm. Might go and talk to my new MP and see what provision they're going to be doing. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, something definitely has to give in that respect because, you know, it's not, it's not right. Lots of people's health, mental health, would improve if they were allowed to have a pet because then it's somebody to care for, especially for people who no longer have kids, you know, they have their empty nest syndrome and depression hits them and then they have the old age bit where all the illnesses start kicking in which then is uh, slowly you know depressing them more and you know to have a pet yeah it ain't going to make a miraculous cure but it certainly is going to take some of the pressure off of them but well that's just my thoughts right on that note look what have you noticed i found my compression glove one of them i found two of them actually but they weren't a matching pair. They were both for my left hand. So I just turned it inside out. <laughs> yes, and that's helping a bit. But well, soon I'll have a whole comp completely compressed because I've got compression socks on. Now I have one compression bandage there. Oh my God. Uh, any rate, on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you again. And I will see you very soon. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Bye.